Say one and say. Perfect. It's not unusual, please. So, why do you want Sam to find love? Um. Take this the fuck out. Look. Yeah, I, I just think it's like it's a 23-year-old lad. Like he has to move out. Like it's just too long now. Would you say it's hard living with Sam? Sam, you left your shells in the sink. Not mine. Well, you go this way. I go that. Sorry, don't. Go on, just fuck your eyes. This is a new crab expert. I'm late for. <sighs> hard. Um. So about 60% of the time it's fine, but that 40% off it just goes too far. But it's some things I've seen. Look at the pincers on that. Just too much. Previous year, Sam had no trouble like finding girls. Like he always had girlfriends. But now, what girl wants crabs in their relationship? Sorry. That was ten of what was that? The bottom line is he is a lovely guy, like, he's my brother, he means the world to me, but there's just an obvious something that's, that's not right about him. Spot on. Cool. Hi, I'm Sam, I'm 23, I'm currently in between jobs. I enjoy long walks along the seafront, and I'm single. Long down. So, how long have you been single? Too bloody long. <laughs> uh, no, about six to eight months. Can you describe to us your ideal woman? Whoa. Have you ever seen David Attenborough? I mean, he picks out some of the most beautiful creatures. Yeah, I'm talking long, long legs, you know, hard exterior but really warm on the inside. I think that's kind of what I'm looking for. Has to enjoy seafood uh, and rocks, uh, tight spaces and doesn't mind a bit of a pinch. <laughs> This is, this is essentially my second home, you know? I love it here. I get made to feel really welcome. Uh, the people are great, the staff are great, and uh, they've got some of the best crabs in Europe. Oh, again, Sam. Yeah, he's at it again, yeah. Uh, Come on, mate, you can't uh, be doing this, not anymore. Reese, 10 minutes, mate. Just no, look, I told you yesterday, mate. And the day before minutes. that. But then you got the old... No, come on, man. It's Rory in No, tonight. come on, mate. No, no, Rory's not here anymore, man. Rory lets me come in. Mate, there's no Rory. Come on. Just ten minutes. No, listen. Sam, come on. I'm not going to ask you again. Sorry, lads. <laughs> That's it. Off your truck. Go back to the ocean. It's only over there. He thinks he can fuck with me. Right. I've been coming here ten years. I don't know exactly where to go. Does Sam cause quite a bit of trouble here? Yeah, he comes here every week, yeah. Does he do anything that's particularly bad or just...? He comes in every day. He just stands there by the crabs. He just stands there looking at the crabs. And more than one occasion I've caught him just like sticking his fingers in and having a little bit of a play. And we, just, we can't do that. There's a clear sign that says you don't touch the animals. Job work. Just a job work. I need to see my friends and family, right? I need to find love. And I'm going to find love in there. Kids come up, they go, Mummy, what's wrong with that man? And I have to say to him, I say, he's got to go. He can't, he does it every day. Talking about Rory, who's Rory? There is no Rory. Rory, Rory's been my best pal in there for 10 years. All right, he's never, never judges me, always talks to me, and he knows exactly what I'm looking for in the birds. I say birds, I mean more crabs. <laughs> Let's go. But no, no, if he's looking for love dressed like a crab, I mean, who, who does that, do you know what I mean? I mean, not even Match.com got that. Not that I know nothing, but... Oi! Oh, not again! Come on, guys, you're, you're encouraging him. No, we're not having this. Sam, mate, no, this is it. I'm out of my nut. If you don't go now, I'm going to have a kick, girl. And 
And Sam, what do you do when you're not at the aquarium? Uh, I'm a really keen footballer, um, and I've got a great bunch of mates, and we have a little kick about from time to time. You know, we've got this ongoing joke where they sort of forget to invite me and stuff, but you know, it's all bands. Cheers for the text, lads. What's going on? Deleting my number or something. So, how long have you guys known Sam? Um, I've known him for about five years now. Yeah. Met him at school. Um, yeah, it's in the same class as me. He seemed alright then, yeah. I knew him before he was a crab, which is a weird transition for me, but I mean, everyone's got their own thing, haven't they? Do you guys know anything about what happened to Sam that's made him sort of transition into a crab? See, I've only heard rumours, really. I, I heard he had a uh, life-changing experience whilst rock falling. It's quite a funny story. He had an ice cream along the seafront, and uh, you know how seagulls come and attack ice creams? That happened to him. I think he's got trust issues, really. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I just think that's why he's kind of built up the shell as it oh, What's he saying? All right, right? Hey. yeah. Just talking about the old uh, seagull attack. Oh, was it? Oh. It's a bit much, mate, isn't it? What? Just, you know. Yeah, I know, but. No, but, like, come on, mate. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. But, you know, it's just not for now, you know. I'm meant uh, to be trying, you're meant to pick me up. I mean, look at him. I mean, look, yeah. uh, look at him. Six foot, <laughs> stunning. Yeah. 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 Tell him that. All right, yeah, six foot, stunning. He's That's great, it. great in, in the sack and everything. Um, great on a night out. Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah, Sammy. Especially when these come yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not very successful on nights out. Um, I think he's a bit too sharp. He's always just nipping girls' asses. It's horrible. I mean, it's all fun and games until they left me on Brighton Seafront. <laughs> yeah. oh. On my own. Four o'clock in the morning. No, we thought you were like in your element. Oh, I was in my element, yeah. Yeah, on the seafront, mate. Uh, he's the only one that stuck by me, to be fair. These lot are a waste of time, but this one, you know, he's been there through the hard times. Yeah. Tommy, yeah. <laughs> right. Anyway, yeah. I'll let you uh, all right, mate, yeah. Have a good one, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Go on in, lad. Um, oh, so really? yeah, I mean, his character, there's a character. Sorry, what was that? No, 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 it's right. Is this your local watering hole? Is this where you guys sort of come to chill out? Yeah, after it's close, football. It's close to football as well. So yeah, uh, come straight here after football and yeah. With the lads. it's usually me getting them in, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. trying to anyway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is as much luck with the ladies here or is it more like a man sort of thing? Ladies, um, I was just wondering if Lesbians or something. You fucking what? Uh, what did you say? So it's probably more lad, I don't know about yeah, here. Yeah, we come here and shoot the shit, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, we sort of tell each other a few personal stuff. It's just quite a nice area. It's just quite a nice yeah. little area to sort of chill out and talk to, really. A bit of banter, really, don't we? Yeah, banter with the lads. Old, you know. old bastard. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, look out. Look out! Oh, oh, it's back! Yeah, I think, I think I am. You know, I'm just trying to find uh, that one person to spend the rest of my life with, and um, you know, I get joy and happiness out of seeing seeing the other people happy. So yeah. Sorry, that's just, it's actually really lovely. <laughs> I just got a excuse me. Oh, what her? Yeah. Fuck off, mate. She's a killer. <laughs> Fuck that. You're all right. That's like... Oh yeah. Shh, cut. Cut. You're not still rolling, are you? No, no, because no, 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 I cut it. I cut it. I guess to summarise, I'm used to people treating me like I'm an idiot, like there's something wrong with me. But I'm just different. It'd be nice if people could embrace that, you know. Someone quite close to me once said that I am beautiful, no matter what they say. Words can't bring me down. I am beautiful in every single way. Yes, words can't bring me down. I know, but they only bring me down today. And I've encompassed that.
and I want to find someone who can embrace me, love me for who I am.